see. I'm gonna come back here and see what I got. Okay, so number one, number two. This is more sensible. Everything's there. Yep. So what's this cable worth, guys? What's it? Well, let's not get cocky yet, eh? Put it underneath. And through. Is that going to be the right point? Yes, I think it just might be. The only thing is, it's just like the other one, it's a tad bit long, eh? It's got a little too much slack in it, but we might be able to work that out. I'm digging it. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a lift ruiner here, eh? I wonder if I can just put a tie wrap somewhere around there. Just remember, this is a used lawnmower. You're still watching? That was a long haul. Alright, now we're going to start it up and warm it. Good. Oh no, they say. Here he goes nagging us again. But look at so some of this stuff is pretty, pretty handy. Like remember these old guys, that goes around the handle and then the Z connector pushes through there and clips in. So you can actually just make a Z connector holder on a handle. I wish I had 200 more of those. Hey Bill, you should use your 3M printer and send me a couple of hundred of those. Probably cost you 50 bucks a piece to do that though. Anyway, I'm just nagging you guys. Because Easy Walk stuff breaks. Even the old, old, old Easy Walk stuff. And of course, this is just a general miscellaneous springs and the more complicated handles here. And then this is all the Z bend handles. And I'm going to try and separate them. So we've got Z bend handles. We've got a thing of wire. The connectors for the Z-Bend handles and handle pieces, it's kind of a hodgepodge bit. And then over here we've got handles and pieces. Yeah, I should probably just do something right now with this. I'm on a, I'm on a yard purge, eh? How many of you guys, I'm just nagging you, all I'm doing is nagging. How many of you guys have either needed one of those or one of those. Shouldn't have to order those, right? We're getting close on this guy. I'm going to try and remove this muffler. It's uh, it's not good. We're really getting close to our oil change. I've got a new air filter on here. I got a new blade. It's been washed up. New, new everything. You're not going to, am I going to get that light? No way. No. Nope. Oh my gosh, if I pull on, pull on it and turn it, it might come. It's coming, by gosh. <laughs> I hope you're watching, Wayne. I'm pulling out and I'm turning it at the same time. Look at that. Wunderbar! Now! Okay, we gotta go find a two and a half inch muffler in the hoard. What's that say right there?
Briggs and Stratton, baby. I'm not so I'm not so surprised I had that. Because I do that. I'm surprised the other one came out without having to use a uh, easy out or a punch and a hammer. Okay, so this is how this is how you screw things up if you go stupid, right? There. All right. So now, spark plug and oil. And we can do that at the same time. I have not decided if I'm going to uh, do the... So this spark plug is so handy, I just leave it out. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do the... What do you call it? The carb kit on this classic. But it's getting a brand new plug, baby. I think it deserves that. After what it's been through. 30 thousandths. A new spark plug. I'm going to keep the boot. change the hoya. I'll back you guys up and let me see. Whoops, you can see just a little bit more. And I'm going to yank on that guy and see if it says hello to me. Hey Dave Akerman, I'm going to break your rule. It works. Except when that things go wrong. Okay, I'm just... I can show you this after. If you guys have never seen one of these. You haven't done much small engine stuff. That's how you burn yourself. Okay, I'm just going to wipe up this little puddle of oil here and we'll be good. And we're going to put the oil in. Be right back. Okay, folks, we saved another one. I'm just not sure if I'm going to do the carburetor diaphragm. It kind of deserves it. We're still not at the final stage where it's beautiful. We still have to put this cover on. And it had some kind of uh, terrible tree sap or something on this thing. I don't know what it is. I've actually gone over the mower three times. I don't know what to do, but just call it quits on that. Do I do the carburetor? Let's see what I got for parts. <laughs> Well, you know, you guys know there's some, there's some new, uh, there's some new diaphragms around. Look what I wrote on here. Test this may cause flooding, April 2021. I think that's going in the garbage. I'm not even going to risk it. So this is what I'm doing lately, guys. I've got three Briggs and Stratton genuine. I'm going to do it. You guys know I do it. Well, good day, my friends. It's the next day, and I am going to change out the diaphragm on this little carburetor. I just, you know, it's been it sat outside and was neglected for so long. You know, it's probably okay, but I think that's not okay. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? So. 
So we're either going to need, uh, what are we going to need down here? Three eighths on that side. And then I think it's a half inch down there. I guess I could show you that. You're going to be... It's a little dark, eh? Wow. We've been having the, weird, the weirdest weather. I don't like using this honking bright light, but there is a... There is an advantageous to it. Pardon me. There we go. Now we'll be able to see it. That bolt right... No, it's still not. There it is. That bolt right there. <laughs> okay, now there's... When you take this apart, you pull it away from the machine. It'll disconnect itself from the uh, intake manifold. I'm just going to disconnect the spring. And then there's a Z bend right on that throttle. That's it. Isn't that something? Oh yeah, let's pour this fuel out of here. Let's give it a little shake. Oh, not much fuel in there at all. I'm getting stingy and it's starting to hurt me a little bit. Let's pour some back in. Pour it back out. There might even be a tiny bit of water in there. That's okay. As long... No. Only use one of these if you're uh, confident that you're not going to hurt anything. And make triple, tri triple check you're in reverse. Yeah, it's good. Good. Excellent. It's definitely at the end of its life. First, we'll uh, spray the top of this off. fair bit of time into this lawnmower because it's, it's actually a good piece of equipment. It can be reliable if everything is done right. I'm going to squirt some air into there. This lawnmower was covered with a, sh a covering of schmoo. I'm almost tempted to squirt a tiny little bit of black paint on this tank. but. That's okay. Now, screws. Good. Sorry there. Rob, I shot you. We're in about five different jars of old gas. Dirty, 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 the worst, dirty, dirtiest, and the filthy. So there's, there's the filthy. And then there's the pretty good. And there's four in between. Okay. Now we're going to clean the rest of this uh, little carburetor up. Now there should be a couple of small orifices. There's one there. There's one there. 
I don't usually take the in the uh, what do you call it? I don't usually take the uh, emulsion tubes out of these. No, a little bit of clean gas doesn't hurt anything on these guys. Okay, there's one thing left, and that's the screen. Look at the look at that carb story dust of bandages. What did I do with that? Green. See that's that is my issue right there. The last thing I did is usually the, the last first thing I've lost. Good. Okay. Easy now. Make sure this is at the bottom of the car of the container. And if I'm not mistaken, the the thin one goes down first. I get the dropsies. I get the dropsies, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the dropsies, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the dropsies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And this, I think, faces that away. Nope. Faces this away. Good. Our five bolts. I'm not going to put them in with the uh, impact. I'm going to put them in with a screwdriver. So that's a cute little carburetor rebuild. So the old one was okay. Just starting to stretch out. Now did I did I keep the spring in there? Yep, the spring's there. Okay. Are you getting a look at this? Almost. Eh? I do have a problem when I'm working with the uh, camera on the bench, just for the room, eh? Okay, they've all been tightened, and I'm just going to cinch them up. One, two, three, it's like torquing on a tire. Four. All right, I put this back on. I connected the Z bend for the uh, for the uh, throttle, the silver one right there, and the spring for the uh, retar throttle return spring and governor tension. I connected the eight, the half inch bolt there, and the three eighths bolt on the end of the tank, right there, and it should be ready to go. Have I got any stuff left except for the air cleaner? Might as well put that on too, eh? So, I've, I've said this before, but that, this hole is a blind hole. You see that? It hits the tank. On the old, on the old ones it slips right through the tank and you needed to put this, you needed to thread this into the carburetor to get a better seal. <clears throat> I've been questioning on that quite a few times. The guys that think they know what they're doing. How much gas do we have in there? My unofficial gas gauge. Well, oh, an inch is not, there's a fair amount in that one. But being as we might be testing it or tilting it or something, when the jug is full, you don't get as many uh, milliliters per glurp. <laughs> Gas cap. <coughs> okay, so she should run good. The only other thing now that I th was thinking of doing, except I gotta glue that down, uh, is uh, changing this resistive spark plug adapter out. So let's just lower this down so nobody gets hurt. All 
And you guys can back up a little bit. And let's just pump this baby a few times. Okay, that was a... We'll just do a couple for the machine. Should run like a top. We may have to adjust the RPMs now that the carburetor's been cleaned. Okay, that's excellent. I'm just going to check the RPM now. So I've taken this off, it was on there like, where are we? I've taken this off, it was on the plug like that, excuse me, and now this is hard to plug into there, so, so I'm just going to put a right angled boot on there. Might be good for you to watch that. So we'll be right back guys. Okay, so you stab the new coil through the wire. It goes almost all the way through, but you have to make sure you stab the center section right there. And then you pull the hood over the over the spring, and the spring goes on the spark plug. And then we just put this on. Excellent. We got a few left. I'm not sure where I'm going to keep them. All right, guys. This is the good part. Now, we're going to put a little bit of crazy glue, maybe, super well. Now, this is where I, okay, I, I got a question for you guys. Has anybody ever not, ever used crazy glue and not gotten it on your hands? It's starting to dry a little bit. Quite often I use goop, but I just used the last of that product up. The money shot. Hey, let's take it right off the stand. The cart. The thing. Always two, eh? 